Hey guys, King Jad here, and tonight on Phil's pre-stream podcast from June the 19th, 2022, Phil had a very strange unhinged rant, in particular seemed to have a real go at a particular detractor who logs all of Phil's like tippers and super chatters as if he doesn't want people knowing that information and being remembered. You need to see it for yourself, but I'm just going to play it from the start. Here we go. Okay, anything else? Shit and shit. Tip me a dollar fifty. He says, I find it odd how Nathan and other super chatter stopped showing up. What are you talking about? What? Nathan you mean Nathan Smith? He was here yesterday. <laughs> he was literally on stream yesterday. I don't know. Here's here's the deal. Alright, guys. Here's me and here's the weirdos, okay? Here's me and my mentality. So today, I'm going to turn on my stream. I'm going to have a great time with my audience. I interact with everyone there. We have a great interactive time. It's social. We have conversation. We have fun. People enjoy what I'm doing with, I'm, on my stream today, and they contribute. That's that's how I see my stream, okay? Here's how some people see the stream. Oh, my God. Someone cheered. Micro analyze every action that person has ever done on Phil's stream, including his chat logs. How often they talk. Are they a member? Did they re-up their membership at what level? How often do they chat? Tally up the amount of super chats that they put together to find out their contribution. Did they ever tip? Add the tips together. Now I have a running calculator of how everyone acts and contributes and shows up. So Phil does not like it when people pay attention to who supports him financially. That is clear as crystal. He is afraid of that information being known too well, I guess. And that was what this is talking about. But also, piece of piece, it's, it's, it's got to be a bit of piece of piece in the tips track and everything, you know what I mean? He logs everything meticulously and bless his wee heart for it. Bless his precious wee heart for logging everything for his all to enjoy on this beautifully autistic tips tracker. Just look at all these TV on why is ever so big papa Phil and all that shit and... There we go, all these different people from like last year who are still around today. Return will remember that piece of shit game. But yes, I'm saying though, he is really going off. And it's, it's not as if this is fake information. He is angry at facts being recorded for posterity. Phil is unhappy about factual things happening on his streams being, being noted down essentially. It's, it's incredible. It's fucking insane. How these people act. They are not normal. How is it not normal just to log what your fans are doing and what anyone's doing in your stream? I mean, it's, it's, it's public information. You have a stream, this information comes through in the stream, it's up for anyone what to do. It's like you're angry that people are paying attention, honestly. It's incredible. And to me, it comes across as he, he wants his fans to stay stupid. All he wants is their money. He does not want anyone questioning, like, how often that dumb fan pays and all that shit. He doesn't want his own fans to think about how much they've paid to him over the years. He doesn't, he, I think he's terrified his own fans are going to come across a tips tracker and look at their own financial information, they've, you know, as in how much they've given Phil, and go, oh shit, I better dial it back a bit. It's incredible. I mean, he is freaking out about the tips tracker. This is blatantly about the tips tracker. And Phil was just absolutely in full meltdown mode just because piece of piece logs all the public information that's available. Anyone who acts like that, there's something wrong up here. For me, it's like, this is a hangout session. We come and we have a chill good time, right? We interact, we have fun conversation, we play games together. Everything's fun. And you also fucking ask people constantly for money, non-stop, all day, every fucking day. One fuck, it's, it's always a fun hangout chill session before, until that one guy in the group is saying guys by the way I've not been given any money in a certain amount of time so please give me something piece of shit that's how I approach my streams this is not super serious this is not anything oh my god someone didn't show up for a few weeks and <laughs> and to me it's not oh my god the sky is falling the world has ended that's how some of these people act because they're fucked up in the head. These these people who want to be up in others' business, they want to be like micro analyzing everything, you know. That, no exaggeration. So for a whole week, I was telling everyone, just so you guys know, just to prepare prepare you, I know that that large amount of gifted memberships is gonna fall. It's coming. It's about a hundred gifted memberships. I got the moment that we had gifted memberships last month. I know that those are gonna expire. Expect this number to go down. It doesn't mean it's a horrible thing. It's gonna happen. 
I mean, the fact is, oh, you were freaking out about it because you were talking about it non-stop every single pre-stream. Sometimes twice on the same pre-stream. You are freaking out about the goddamn thing happening. It's like you're trying to drill into your Denthead fans that they must start gifting memberships again because the last batch were expiring and it's about time they stepped up and gifted some more. When it used to happen on Twitch, it's going to happen here. Everything's fine. What happened all day yesterday? There was like 10 people. Oh, are you going to update your members' goal? Are you going to update the members' total? Can you update it to see how many it dropped? Can you update that so we see if it's accurate? Can you update it? Can you update it? They're, they're nuts. Heaven forbid people want you to display factual, accurate information on your own goddamn streams and not be misleading people. Heaven forbid people learn the current situation or the, the situation you're in in terms of members. No, I should go, damn it. He thinks it's a personal attack. There are these people who are just so obsessed with negativity and just obsession around my streams and, and support of my streams. Something I don't obsess about, they obsess about Bullshit, you absolutely obsess about support. It's, it's, a, it's a staple, it's your trademark. You obsess massively about support and getting enough of it and it's never enough and you want more and you're going to have to make a tweet to ask for more and you're going to have to make a special video and ask for more and then you're going to have to really say that something like it's like came up, unexpected bill, something broke in the house, the day off tomorrow, I want to afford a nice meal, I want to afford to fucking take my wife somewhere nice, I'm like, bullshit, you know, you fucking bring it up every single goddamn day, don't pretend you don't fucking worry about that shit. About it more than me and I'm the one running the streams in the business. They're nuts. When you see someone like that, you point to them and you say, Hey, you. You're nuts. I'm ignoring you now. Block them. <laughs> Seriously. Pay no heed to people like this. He wants people to not have access to publicly available information. He wants his fans to block that information out so they're not aware of the factual events that are happening on Phil streams and has been happening since uh, April 2021 when Peace of Peace started logging all this. I just love that Piece of Peace has got into his head this badly and we've got a scared reaction. Piece of Peace is an awesome detractor. If you don't, if you don't know him, check him out. They don't add anything positive. They're messed up. They're just here to, to give everyone drama and to give us all a bad time. That's not what we're here for. He's only there to fucking log information. He just tracks the information that's publicly available. He just tracks who tips what, when they tip, what game it was. And obviously he has that information adding up things. You know, he's got a big spreadsheet, you know, which says pivot tables and all that shit and adds up things overall and it's, 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 it's mental to me how much of a freak out he has about this. I don't care. It's my job to run a business as well as a hobby at the same time, right? And yes, it is my job to make sure that at least I'm making enough to make ends meet and pay my bills. Every once in a while, if we get a slow day, I'll bring it up and say, hey guys, can you support or whatever? And that's it. It's not some giant thing. Every once in a while. Do you catch that bullshit? Every once in a while. For Phil, this, this must be official then. Every once in a while, for Phil, must mean every couple of hours. It must mean that. It must mean every couple of hours, every once in a while, as in an hour or two. I mean, what is the longest Phil has ever gone when streaming without asking for tips? Oh, the Howard and John react because he had, had it turned off. Technically, he didn't have it turned off. He had the public information turned off. So people could still tip him. He just couldn't see information appearing on screen. So he was less transparent than usual. Thing where they're doing giant conspiracy theories and tracking shit. They're out of their minds. They're literally out of their fucking minds. Just ignore those idiots. So this guy tipping, where's Nathan? Nathan used to super chat. He's not on your streams anymore. Where is he, bro? What the fuck is your problem? Really? What, what, what screw is loose up here? No one thinks like that but you. Really. No one fucking thinks like that. You're you're fucked. Get get a life, get a job, get a hobby, do something. Get a job. Did he just tell someone else to get a job? The fucking hypocrisy of this cunt. Something else than try to fucking micromanage who's on my streams contributing what and where they've been. Get the fuck out of here, man. You're out of your you're out of your mind. <clears throat> okay. I mean, that's, that's the end of that wee rant, but god damn the hypocrisy of all Phil telling someone else to get a job when he has to beg people every single goddamn day to give him money just so he can spend it all on WWE Champions and repeat the whole cycle again the next goddamn day. You know what? Phil does not want people visiting this, so I'm going to put links in my description so people can visit it. I'm also going to put links to Piece of Pieces YouTube channel so people can visit his YouTube channel. He does streams sometimes, usually it's the late streams. If you're up for them, I'll recommend going to them. He runs them very well. 
he gets angry quite easily with her, which is always a pleasant experience watching someone else rage at him, get salty with him. But yeah, this is a tips tracker, and I'll, let you, I'll go through it briefly if you, if you want. This is a YouTube raw data for tips. This is the analysis of tips. Look at this, you can, the pay pig wall of shame, starting from April 2021. One minute man has tipped almost $8,000. His latest tip was tonight, and naturally it's probably 25 bucks guessing him. Of course, One Minute Man is... But, but there's a lot of debate who One Minute Man is. I mean, it doesn't appear on stream, and people think it's Planet Jeff, people think it's Phil. But he is by, by and far the biggest wheel, if he exists. You know, Dovich email the fucking Elden Ring guy $2,000, mainly in Elden Ring. This is the thing as well, you can see different kind of data where it'll pick up a better way. Pastryarchy is das bullshit. Just, just in case you don't know, Pastryarchy is das bullshit. Remember that, idiot? Yeah, he's too ashamed to tip under his own name, so he had a wee alter ego just because he's ashamed of it, I guess. And then the monthly tips breakdown as well for people, it's just crazy. It really is. The trend of the tips and all that, you know, average tip per day. This is what Peter P's all logs, and he's got the Patreon data as well. Look at all that, looking so good, and then, yeah, it's not really looking too good anymore, is it? Something down. It's like a wee hand gesture that Phil does to signify a graph going up and down. It's like, up and down, up and down, like me fucking hills. Yeah, obviously he analyses YouTube data. I think he logs games as well, and how well some games... Yeah, he got game analysis right here. So how well performing certain games did. And you, something, you, can, you can filter this as well, you can... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll sort it like Z to A, so the highest ones at the top. Street Fighter has earned him $10,000. Street Fighter 3, I should say. Sorry, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. I should fucking read the description at all. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection has earned him in total $10,000. In tips, it's seven and a half, just over $7,500. So I assume that the rest of it is like Super Chats, maybe, or something. You'd imagine it's six super chats. Crazy numbers though, crazy numbers. Total tips here, seven thousand dollars, six thousand for Elden Ring, and that was mainly emo. Emo was like like a part of that or something. Unbelievable amount of money. This is what I'm saying, Phil hates it when people have access to this information. And this is all public information. Piece of piece hasn't just gone behind the scenes at Phil's fucking stupid house and got the information illegally. No, 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 this is all information that was publicly available and it was easy enough for peace to log at the time. Obviously, to put it all together in the first place would have taken, you know, some effort to find you know what but once everything was in place, it's easy enough for him to just go through and just take a note of who tipped what or whatever. And yeah, it's, 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 it puts a lot of work into it, you know, but it paid off and obviously it resulted in this angry rant of fills tonight. And obviously the revenue as well. We get to see the revenue that Phil earns over time. This is just this is something it's a beautiful spreadsheet. I would highly recommend checking it out and enjoying it. Of course it's home with the bank leaks as well. Those beautiful bank leaks that we love pouring over from uh, March 2020 to September 2021. Beautiful information, all compiled beautifully. By piece of piece. And this is what Phil does not want his fans to have had access to. He thinks it's crazy that someone logged this information that became publicly available in the bank leaks as well. I know that how it was obtained bank leak information sketchy as hell, probably illegal, but once it was released, kind of like, you know, WikiLeaks not shit, it was public information once it was released out to the public. And yeah, this this is what information this is this is all that information that laid bare once it became public. Nothing Phil can do about that. Obviously he denies it's fucking real. He admits that if someone had a breach into his account not shit, but he denies this information was real. So someone just magically made up all these fake transactions. Get the fuck. Yeah, I would, as I said, check this out if you've not checked out already. Um, Peter Peace does great work. I don't know when he's next week streaming, but probably soon. It's usually every... He does it like twice a week or something like that, you know, when he can. Uh, yeah. I'm going to end things there, guys. Uh, this has been King Jared. I just thought you'd enjoy me video and just enjoy this Phil Wee freak out about people knowing too much about him. Heaven forbid. Fans learn how much money people give him. Oh, no. But yeah, this has been King Jared. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.